we take a look at some of the most incredible and strangest drones out there. We start off with the non-tilting cyclo rotor. There have been quad cyclo rotors before, but this is something entirely new. It is based on fluid propulsion, and it's very similar to a paddle pushing water. This setup allows it to be a lot quicker at making corrections, with highly precise horizontal position adjustments. The advantage to this is that you can have complete stability without tilting the craft in one direction. This means in FPV you can have total horizontal stability. The hexacopter itself is also a unique setup with a total payload of around 10 pounds. Applications include window cleaning, ultrasonic scanning, and even power line maintenance. We have seen single actuator monocopters from Air Lab, which have flight controllers for full cyclic based stability. This new variant is definitely next level. It's able to separate in mid air and able to change its flight traits in real time. The connectors allow for passive separation without the need for a dedicated actuator. It does this by harnessing variable centrifugal forces from controlled adjustments of the rotating speed of the craft. So just like a normal drone, it can go into any direction with full control. Ultimately, it is a highly configurable flying knife with future swarm capabilities. The next position is called the Mamba. A newly developed aerial system is capable of sampling plants on protected cliffs. It contains an actively controlled platform suspended by a long cable under a lifting drone. This decoupled platform allows it to move quickly in windy conditions. It has a built-in flight controller with four bi-directional actuators, meaning that the platform can move four meters away horizontally from the drone. The lifting platform is a DJI M300 with around 20 minutes of flight time. And with this duality of vehicles, the Mamba can actually go into a plant Remove it with its circular saw and gripper tool. As covered before, Undefined Technologies is looking at developing a ion propulsion drone. This type of propulsion creates high voltage to ionize air molecules, freeing electrons to give them a positive charge, thus providing thrust. Ethan Cross, the YouTuber, has already proved that this type of self-sustainable craft is possible but it is very difficult to incorporate a payload due to its low thrust to weight ratio. Concurrently, this particular craft is obviously not solely powered by ion propulsion, but it is a hybrid utilizing one ducted fan in the center. The advantage to this is that it's quieter than a typical drone, with a target range of around 70 decibels. Currently, it can only fly for around 4 minutes in test flight, which will probably change in the future with advances in battery technology. The Createch Engineering Lab has developed a drone which can land on slopes up to 60 degrees. It incorporates reverse thrust with friction shock absorbers. A small DC motor along with a lead screw can tighten or loosen these discs together, varying overall levels of friction. This means that the multi-copter can land on very steep inclines with a high degree of accuracy. In turn, this also allows a drone to perch on a roof and spy on your next move. A really innovative and maybe even shocking type of drone is able to 3D print things. This integrated system incorporates a built drone which builds structures through additive manufacturing, with a nozzle which can move laterally in respect to the drone. The second vehicle is a scanning type of drone, which supervises the printing process, correcting the build drone when required. The amazing thing about this system is that it has millimeter accuracy and more drones can be incorporated into this system. Will it build your next house? Well, I'm not really sure unless you have many, many drones. But on the other side, this is also very impressive for remote locations. The final position, in my opinion, is the future of drone technology. The newest variant of the Dragon can change its shape and manipulate objects with its feedback loop, meaning that it can adapt to the scenario presented. This includes carrying or moving objects, along with manipulating more complex things such as valves. It's able to do this by articulating and having vectored thrust. The downside to this is that it can only fly for 5 minutes, which is limited by the current energy density of batteries. That technology is also quickly evolving, with next generation solid state batteries achieving over 1000 watt hours per kilogram. And this means that the Dragon might be able to fly 3 times as longer. Ultimately, the Dragon will be even more advanced in the future, and maybe we'll see more advanced morphing capabilities along with obstacle avoidance. And I think it's one of the most exciting flagship drones to follow. 
But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all these different types of drones. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.